Obviously, you've been uh, working towards this moment for a very long time, and now it's finally almost here, I guess. Uh, what's, what's the emotion like for you on fight week? I'm excited, and I'm ready. Um, and like you said, John, yes, I have been working for this my entire career. Yeah. Does it feel different? I mean, like you said, like it's this goal that you're trying to work to, and, and now it's that moment. I mean, does it feel different than a normal fight week, or do you try to normalize it? I absolutely try to normalize it. Keep it simple, stupid. Uh, it's just another fight at the end of the day. If you get a belt at the end of the night, that's cute. I don't want to make it bigger than what it is and let the media and everything like that get to me. I just need to focus on what I do and uh, yeah, go to work. Nice. You were obviously vocal when things got rescheduled. You had these situations where people aren't able to, to put her there. But as you saw in her last fight uh, with Jermaine, you know, she was getting triangled. She was getting put in vulnerable uh, situations that uh, people haven't seen before. But, you know, she's human. She's human just like I am, you know, so. I remember after your win against Sarah McMahon, you had said you kind of knew taking her down. That was the path to victory, just looking at Sarah's previous opponents, that what they did well against her. So when you're watching all of those opponents kind of find some sort of success off there, like working on uh, with Amanda on the ground, is that what you're seeing as well, like a path to success that they couldn't achieve in there? My path to success is just to focus on me and what I can do and literally going to work and doing my job. I can't not tell you what she's going to do. I can just tell you that I will be ready to answer and I will be ready for whatever she brings. And on one of the embeddeds, uh, your coach said that you are, quote, the perfect person to deal with that kind of firepower that Amanda Nunes is bringing. So what exactly does he mean that sets you apart, that you can deal with the firepower that Amanda Nunes brings? I mean, if you look back at uh, any of my previous fights, you know, I've only dropped two fights in the last 10 years, and they were to a champions, to, and I was winning. If you go back and you look back at those fights, I'm literally winning. I have them dead in the water. I made some amateur mistakes that I have been able to clean up, and I'm ready to execute. And I think that the most important thing is, is to go out there and just do my job and focus on what I can do and make sure that I execute. Juliana, in the middle right here. Uh, you've done commentary work before, combate, right? Uh, just curious to know how kind of working on that side of things mentally helps you prepare and analyze, you know, opponents, if it has at all. I just want to give a shout out to Campbell McLaren for giving me an opportunity to uh, be put in that position to commentate and to uh, let me get my feet wet in the um, commentating field aside from fighting. And I'm just super grateful for that opportunity. I definitely think that it's kind of been a hard thing because I'm like motor mouth all the time. And so like commentating is actually a lot harder than uh, I took into consideration. Consideration and sometimes they're just like, you know, ease it down, back it up, you know, and I think that that's definitely helped me. Um, but as you can see, sometimes I still uh, kind of screw it up and let my uh, first thoughts come to mind and, and spew that out. So I think commentating for Combate has definitely helped me kind of rein it in a little bit. And, you know, obviously this has been a fight that you've been wanting for a long time. So in a way, do you kind of like having had more time to pre prepare for it? Or is it like, oh, I still would have wished I had it back when, you know, it was supposed to happen? It doesn't matter to me. Like I said, it doesn't matter. We're fighting, and that's the most important thing is whether it was supposed to be in August or December, the uh, moral of the story is, is that we will be fighting. We will be getting locked into the cage, and uh, that's going to be on Saturday. And so it's, there's no need to, you know, keep beating a dead horse. We're fighting. Best of luck, Juliana. Thank you.